what I want to do is pa- literally pair off with somebody, find somebody you can sit next to, see if you get to. Ideally, somebody you don't know. Is anybody sitting next to somebody they know really well? <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> is anybody sitting next to anybody they can't believe they know? <laughs> right. Okay, if you're sitting next to somebody you know, make your polite excuses and find somebody you don't know that well. So let's move things around and move the chairs around a bit as well. So you need to talk to somebody you don't know that well. What I want you to do is tell the person or the people you're with, this is your license to boast, three amazing facts about yourself. (laughs) Now... (laughs) Things... Well, oh, that says a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> Flipping out. I want to hang out with you a lot now I've heard that reaction. What, three, it could be really things they may not know. It could be, for instance, you're a Swahili speaking, uh, trampolining, crocodile hunting, former boyfriend of Jordan. Ah, <laughs> uh, brilliant. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> I've got to say, uh, well, thank you for taking part in that, but what, look at the buzz in the room when you just got chatting. Some people, were, I think, had their head in their hands. Others were going, oh, my God, I can't believe I'm going to admit to this. But, um, again, um, but look at the energy in the room. And also, you've been fascinated by some things you've found out. Have you found out things you didn't know about your colleagues, even those you know quite well or you can't believe you know? Um, but it's great, but that's the colour. The colour is a key thing in communication and business in particular, and we're going to cover that uh, in, a, in a second, a session. I just, are there any that stand out? I, anyone want to put my hand out? Interesting revelations they've had. Oh, come on. I could, yes, what were you? This chap's been given a Mars bar by the Queen Mother. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, okay. Uh, have any others? Yes. This lady here had a broken back when she was 14 and was actually paralysed for a while and had to lie for two, week, two months on the back uh, in a bed uh, while she actually got her feeling and her legs back again. Blimey. And carried on going. And you do sport? You're not the one who swam across the channel, are you? No. <laughs> not yet? No. That's brilliant. Fantastic. But how does that make you feel now you know that and you've heard that? Another piece of information. Ah, but... Uh, no, yeah, but... <laughs> Yeah, no, but uh, seriously, putting, putting emotion aside. Um, <laughs> it's, all part parcel of, it's all part and parcel of learning to communicate and actually being able to, eye level, get to know and mm. talk and talk about other things besides the business because that will lead to the business as well. Precisely. I'm going to give you a few tips. What I want to do is, can I have you two up, please, gentlemen? David and... Paul. Paul. I just put them. Uh, right. <clears throat> 20 press-ups. No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then do a yogic position. No, if you stand a bit closer. Now, you're having an... A- okay, in a networking situation, you're in a room. <laughs> you from the Forest of Dean. <laughs> I get the eye line of the speaker like this. Get the eye of the speaker. Wait for them to finish, and hopefully they will acknowledge that I'm there. So I sound close enough. We're not so close that David here is going to call security. <laughs> But not over here and go like this and going, they'll think, <laughs> some weirdo staring at me, <laughs> call security again. You get close enough and I get your eye and once you've finished, hopefully you'll say, oh, hello, how are you or who are you, why are you? Um, and what I will do, because David's the one I want to meet, I'll start with Paul, how do you do Paul? I'm Sean, how do you do? Hello, Sean. Jackie, love to meet you. David, love to meet you too. I end up with the person I want to talk to. Does that make sense? The people who left the room have a slight confession to make. <laughs> Did you notice anything unusual, interviewers, about your interviewees? Yes. They're on a different planet. (laughs) Paul says they're on a different planet. Uh, (laughs) Indeed they were. I've got to say, I have a confession to make on their behalf. And obviously they apologise profusely for this.